volumes up here. Specifically, when we move over to uh, to helium, uh, we want to make sure that the the helium goes up rather than going down, uh, cooling down the board and potentially getting some of the components too cold. So, just one method of trying to block the rest of the motherboard from uh, excessive cold. Last leg to as far as battery goes. So in terms of the boiling point, um, so nitrogen is negative 196. Uh, helium, I believe, is negative 270, 269. So pretty close, pretty close uh, to the absolute, you know, maximum zero, or absolute zero, whatever. Uh, in terms of what temperatures we've seen, so with, with nitrogen, uh, we're seeing negative 185. Uh, when we switch over to helium, which obviously has different thermal properties, uh, the base temperature has usually been between negative 220 and 230, 235 maybe in, in some cases. Is there helium or is there LM now? Do you know what helium's boiling point is? It's pretty close to the absolute zero. Yeah, just the uh, multiplier seems to be a little bit faster. It's really so sitting there. It seems to be a pretty decent chip, so we've got only 1.8 volts or a little bit below, uh, and it's already at 7.6 gigahertz. So uh, it's an untested chip, the first time we run it. Um, it seems to be pretty good. So let's see if, uh, if the next step is still stable. 7740 at below 1.8 volts. So just based on the chips we've tested, this is uh, what I would say a good chip. So it's, it's already hitting 7.75 at below 1.8 volts. So that's a good sign. It's a good sign. Yeah. This next step, if, if it can run this, it's, it's going to be an uh, extremely good chip. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's closed. It was closed. It, it, it looks very good. So, do we want to switch over to the Yeah, just switch over. Just switch over right now. For Simon? I'm here. Simon, we're switching over right now. We have a chip here. Yeah. Wait one second. We're not ready. I need to see this, guys, because I need to make sure that that's... Simon, as you guys narrate...